Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition and after work, I'm dirty rendition and unboxing. Listen, 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 listen. I've got a box in from D-Bad. I got a box in from I don't know who. I've got this knife I want to show y'all uh, from Donnie. This is the Military Combat Kniff by Croco Knives. Now, this is this was the first one. This is the only one that's got the misspelling, so it's special in a couple of ways. I brought this home from Blade with me because I wanted to check it out. It's made by Croco Knives. Now, this is, this is going to follow up on the video I did earlier. Price does not dictate what's good and bad. It absolutely does not. Everybody in this community who's been in knife buying for a couple of years, few years, whatever, knows that price has nothing to do with quality. Uh, someone put in the comments on the other video, there's been high-end junk and low-end gold, and that's a fact. This, this is a knife. Croco Knives is in Pakistan. Everybody, all Pakistan. But when you deep dive it, you understand that the bladesmith is a master bladesmith certified out of England, accredited out of England. That's why, and this shit's good. I love these, but I wanted to open up with that. Price has nothing to do with quality. I want y'all to understand that. That's, I don't want anybody to ever get the idea, well, Scab's a snob. This review is coming up this week. Donnie sent several of his top knives. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to, while I'm opening this, let me just do my intro. Guys, there was a time in this country where 22 vets a day took their own lives, and the stats are everywhere, right? We talked about it in an earlier video. That's why here on this channel, we focus on the number zero. Anything over zero is simply unacceptable. All that means is vets, we love you and you have a place here. We're back to blue over here. We support Leo. I'm not getting into all that today. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. This is a free country. Thank God. How do you do it? And I'm not mad at you if you don't. How do you do it? Scabber? Well, I don't break the damn law. And yes, I've been arrested more than most. So that, that has nothing to do with it. Finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So I'm actually doing the opening today with my work tough gear um, carnivore that I'm going to review, do a hard use review on tomorrow. Eric Outer, Outer Limitless Knives, this is his design. Here's the thing a lot of people miss with, their, with these designs. They'll say, oh, that's tactical, or it says, I guarantee you this is a wood processing monster, okay? I guarantee you it is. Comfortable handle, G10, SK85, it has an aggressive look like I do. This hole and these holes you can lash for a spear. A lot of people are, don't like that, and I guess it's personal preference. I promise you with Work Tough Gear, it does nothing to decrease the strength. It's got some beautiful fullers. Anyway, we're going to deep dive this knife tomorrow. I'm a huge fan of Eric's work. And so we'll stab some tires. We'll do our stuff. Here's the deal, guys. Um, over these next few weeks, we're going to start doing a couple of comparisons. I don't normally do those. I really don't. I try to, I, I usually have, and this is again, first world knife problems. I usually have so many damn knives to review. I don't have time, but there is a reason that we're going to start comparing, and that has to do with our knife making challenge that I'm going to make an announcement on very, very soon. I want to start getting some testing criteria done and get it ready. So here's what I'm going to do. I got this one. Donnie always overdoes the tape. We kind of That's kind of a thing between us going back and forth. So I'm going to open this one first. I, I really don't know what the hell this is. Um, I don't... Sales Department, Lorton, Virginia. Okay. Um, I have no idea what the hell this is. I really don't. I know Tops is sending some stuff, but that's they're not in Virginia. Might be something from O Knife, maybe? I don't know. I really don't. And it might be something somebody decided to send me. I get that quite a bit too. Um, but we're gonna check this out and then we'll jump into the one Donnie sent. And this one isn't gonna be super long. It's gonna be a quick unboxing. Okay, this is from O Life. Okay, so I'll do videos on these. These are my Stars and Stripes sunglasses from Olife. There, there's probably like an Obi sale going on, Olife Obi, which I like. I'll wear these tomorrow. I'm a sunglass freak. Since I got this eye that sits over here, and I'm wop out as hell, um, I like wearing sunglasses. Now, this is an axe. I'm actually pretty intrigued by this. I was just talking about... Um, having a bunch of shit to review which is always a good thing 
So this is from O-Knife, 50CR15 MOV stainless steel head. Um, so obviously it's a camp axe. Let's, get, let's take a look. You guys are getting a sneak peek. Um, I'm sure there's a review. I got to look that up when I'm supposed to release this. I'll look at that. I don't really... I'll give you a quick look. It's like a hammer pole. That's pretty dope. It's a multi-tool. This is another company that names all, uh, Optical AI. Kind of apropos. Give you a good look at that. There's a sneak peek. I don't know if I'm supposed to show people, but, you know, sue me. Got a crowbar on the bottom. Pretty dope looking knife. Hammer pole. Um, the hammer pole is held in by you can see so we're gonna we're gonna have to do some testing on that we'll we're gonna do our hard use stuff it's cool it's a cool looking aesthetic but does it hold up we'll have to find out so we'll put that to the side because i'll have separate videos on these coming i mean it looks cool as shit i'm, I'm kind of curious to try them out i'm gonna use the sunglasses more uh for tomorrow than anything else because i'm on the road a lot I, i'll tell you a trend that i've gotten to that where i just the spies about said a bad word there is it it's almost like let's see how bad we can screw up somebody with a damn knife or axe sheath it doesn't have to be damn tetris to get something on guys just a little little salesman advice there all right let's break into this one now thank god for donnie because this is my my samurai bird t-shirt we were all there together uh United Registered Certified Local 1095 Backyard Cutters Union. I love this shirt. Bird, thank you again, man. All of our stuff at, at, at Blade, me, Joe, and Donnie stayed in the room, and Bird was gracious enough to give us these shirts. I love the shirt, and y'all will probably see me in it this weekend. Gracious enough to give us shirts. Well, everything, you got three dudes in a room, man. Everything gets thrown in. I sent a damn, I was supposed to send Brandon Thrasher's Big boy Jack, or big bro Jack, with uh, Joe. I had it, Donnie had it, handed it me, handed it to me so I could mail it to Joe. I mailed Joe the feel good Jack box. I didn't even mail him the damn knife. So I've got all that worked out. Joe, that knife should be to you by the end of this week. So there's that. <laughs> here's, my, here's, my, here's my tripod. Uh, thank you, Donnie, very, very much that I left uh, while I was there again. Uh, I, I, I don't know how the hell Donnie got this. I thought I'd lost this. So not that it's, for, for some of you guys that are just now starting channels and, and ask, this thing right here was my favorite tripod. I've got a hundred of these damn things. Um, but this one's my favorite, and I guess I left it in Atlanta. I don't, dude, where'd you even, the funny thing about this it, it, it's kind of an inside thing. When we went to leave on Sunday from from Blade, we took off. Donnie wanted. We went by and seen uh, Martin Luther King's house where he was born at. I got a picture of Joe and Donnie on the steps. We dropped Joe off at the airport, which you know, tearful goodbye there. As we got to Donnie's brother's house, I was looking all over for this thing. I thought I left it in a room. We double. I don't know where the hell was it. Where even was it, Donnie? It might have been in Donnie's bag. But thank you for that. That is awesome. That, I mean, they're not expensive. It's not a money thing. But when you find one you want, it's like, holy hell. And then, and then oh yeah, here's my battery pack. If y'all knew all the shit I took with me, you'd be like, holy hell. This is my phone charger. Thank you, brother. This is dope. Donnie sent this for me to check out. I'm going to check this out and get it back to him pretty damn quick. But this is straight up badassery, son. This is the Hornbeak Custom. I absolutely freaking love this thing. It is unbelievable in hand. Wow. See the logo? We're going to check this thing out. It's A2. Razor sharp. That's just badass, man. That says that screams Jed Hornbeat. I absolutely love that. Brother, I appreciate you. So that's our unboxing because we already had another video today. Listen, to everybody that's in the choir, that's Patreon, 
and YouTube members. I will have a video out uh, tomorrow, June 21st, tomorrow night later. I've got a couple things I need to talk with you about. I need to get your uh, input on some things I want to go over the choir. If you're not a part of the choir, if you're not a part of Patreon or YouTube membership, you're welcome to join. I usually put out at least one Patreon video a week around town. Sometimes it's discussing uh, family business. Sometimes it's just chatting. Sometimes it's shooting the shit. But it's always once a week. So tomorrow night, um, I'll put that out. And thank you for your patience. And to every single one of you who are in the choir, man, thank you so much. You've really helped over these past few months. I use all the money that comes into the channel for, for the channel, for shipping, things like that. And as we grow, it really helps. So thank you guys a lot. We'll have a, a, a Patreon video out tomorrow night. Friday is the 23rd. Friday is our three-year anniversary as a channel. It's, it's been insane, dude. It's been insane. Three years, we've gained uh, almost 43,000 subscribers from last June to this. So we've, we've really blown up, and it's been a blast, and it's been a ride. So Friday, there'll be all kind of special. This weekend will be a big anniversary weekend. Not going to tie you up. Love y'all. God knows I do. God bless y'all. D, this is awesome. Can't wait to show you guys this in action. Can't wait to show you the tripod over here in action and the battery pack. I love y'all. I'm Scab. You're not. And I'm gone, son. <laughs>